Hello class, this is Robert Smith coming at you from MDF2, term 1402, and this is my project for reflection video. This week we were tasked to create a movie theater application that makes use of some um, more advanced table view topics and also makes use of the MP movie player controller object to play a video. So uh, dive right into the code here. Um, this is an overview of the application. Makes use of two different view controllers. Um, the first being a table view and the second being just a regular view controller. Um, in my first view controllers you did load, the uh, first thing I'm doing is creating, uh, is allocating out the theater array that will be the data source for my table view. And then I'm calling my create movies method, which is right here. In my create movies method, I am creating 15 different movie objects, assigning each one of them a title, uh, some uh, times, and a uh, image that will serve as the movie poster. Uh, and uh, do that 15 times. And then I get down here to my theater objects, and then I'm creating three different theaters. Uh, the movie info or the uh, movie objects are coming from this movie info class. Theater objects are coming from this theater info class. Each one of the theaters has an image associated with it, a location and a name, and also a movies property that uh, holds that is an array that holds five of the above movie objects. Do that three times. Add each one of them to the theater array, and then down here in my table view, data source slash delegates. I am. Uh, uh, returning the theater array dot count for the number of sections in the table view because there are uh, only three objects in the theater array because like I said um, the movie objects are properties of the theater object so um, I just return theater array dot count uh, for the view for header and section I'm creating a custom view and um, this, uh, I give it a header label and a detail label. The header label serves as the title of the movie. The detail later label serves as the times. And um, the image, as you will see in a minute, is actually the entire background of the entire view. I add the each one of these subviews to the custom view and then return it. I do that three times, one for each section. Uh, this is my height for header and section, just making sure that the header has the appropriate height for each view, uh, custom view that I made. Uh, for the number of rows and section, I am casting um, the uh, theater info object around my theater array so that I can return the uh, movies property dot count. And for cell row and index path, something very similar. I'm casting the theater info object around the theater array so that I can get to uh, the index path. And then in my segue, prepare for segue method, I am creating an index path that points that is basically the what you it's index path that row is what this line is. Very useful. And uh, creating an instance of detail view controller, uh, setting it as a destination view controller, and then passing the movie object over to the detail view controller. So over in detail view controller, uh, the very first thing I am doing in view did load is using that movie object to set the uh, title label, the times label, and the poster. And then right here, uh, these are my play and stop buttons for the movie player controller. And I'm setting them to hidden so that you can't see them until you press the watch trailer button. And then I am creating these path for my uh, trailer right here. Um, this falls under something I could have done better. I could have uh, pulled these videos from the internet so that they would actually match the movie that you're selecting. But that um, turned out to be very tedious. I started to do it, uh, but uh, some URLs don't work well with the movie player controller, and it would have been uh, pretty time intensive. So I just decided to 
post uh, to use this awesome trailer for the new Godzilla movie for all of uh, all of the movies. So any anytime you anytime you're watching a trailer in this application, you're going to be watching this Godzilla trailer. And the rest is pretty much exactly as Wendy did in the video. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the app. This is the app. Um, this is that custom view that I made for the header and the section. These are all the movies. All of these images are actually in the application in my XC Assets folder. So, um, and then, uh, so, yeah, there's all the headers. There's, um, all the movies, you click on any movie, you're going to get that poster, you're going to get the title of that movie sometimes, and uh, you click the watch trailer button, and the movie player controller uh, pops up and starts to play the movie, and you click the stop button, it'll stop, you click the play button, it'll start back up, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, awesome class this month. Uh, looking forward to next month. And uh, I hope I went into detail enough. So, um, yeah, just thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing some of you in uh, next month's class for application deployment one. Okay, thank you.